This video tutorial is brought to you by TipSquirrel at www.tipsquirrel.com. For all kinds of Photoshop and Lightroom goodness, follow at TipSquirrel on Twitter or Facebook.com slash TipSquirrel. Hi everybody, Mike Hoffman here with another in my continuing series on 3D techniques within Photoshop CS6 Extended. Today we're going to be looking at combining multiple 3D objects together. And ultimately, we're going to look at assigning material properties such as transparency, reflections, and shininess. This is going to be a lengthy process, so we're going to split this up into two sections. And in today's video, we're going to focus on creating the wine glass with the wine in it. In the next video, we'll focus on adding the material properties that give it the transparencies and the reflections. So let's get started. We'll start with a new file. And here I've got a blank layer and superimposed over the blank layer you can see a path that I've drawn that represents a half of a wine glass cut away. I'm going to use my direct selection tool to make sure that path is selected. And I'm going to turn on a blank layer that I've already named glass. Now with that path selected, and I'm in the 3D workspace here, I'm simply going to go to my 3D panel and I'm going to create a new 3D object using that work path. And it's going to create a 3D extrusion. That's my only choice. And I'll click on Create. Now there it is. We can see it. And if we drag around, you can see that it has a bit of a depth to it. Now I'm going to undo and put that back in its original location. And this is going to be important as we combine multiple 3D objects together. But what we need to do is revolve this extrusion in a circular path to create the wine glass. And in order to do that, we're going to click on the glass extrusion here in the 3D panel and we're going to go in the properties panel to the second icon which is deform. Here we're going to want to ultimately bend the object making sure that bend is selected and we're going to bend it 360 degrees in a circle but in the first attempt it's not working out quite right. It's folding around on itself and so how do we fix that? The way that we fix that is by changing the deformation axis here at the top. Right now it's set to do its bending around the center, but we can change that by clicking this dot on the right hand side. And now we can see that the bending is taking place around the right hand edge of our extrusion. However, we've got this bit of a hole in the center. And the way that we eliminate that hole is by changing the extrusion depth and we can make it larger or smaller. And if we take that extrusion down to zero, that will completely close it in. So with the extrusion depth at zero and the deformation axis on the right, we'll go ahead and increase the horizontal angle all the way to 360 degrees. And there is our wine glass. We can tilt it and you can see, sure enough, it is a glass shape. We'll undo that again and set it back in its original position. Now let's put some wine in the glass. In order to do that, we're going to go to another new layer, turn that on, and this will represent the wine. Going back to the path panel, I've already drawn a path that's in the same relative position. And again, with that layer selected and the path active, we'll go ahead and make sure it's selected just to be sure. We'll set the source to work path. 3D extrusion and click on create here in the 3D panel. Now we have a 3D extrusion representing the wine. If we tilt it on the side we can see what we've got. It's actually a sort of a blocky rectangular thing and we want to spin this around just like we did with the wine glass. So we'll undo that and set it back to its default position. Again that's very important. We want to leave it there so that we can combine these later because as you notice this object is moving completely independently from the glass and we need to combine the two together so that they can interact and reflect and share properties. So we'll select the wine extrusion here in the 3D panel and once again we'll go to the deformation tab of the properties panel. We'll want once again to set the extrusion depth to zero and then we'll take the horizontal angle up and as we do you can see that it's rotating around on itself and because we've got a half circle rotating around, we only need to go 180 degrees this time. Now notice 
that the color turned gray. And that's because the extrusion itself is only red on the face. The extrusion material itself is gray because we haven't assigned anything to it. So what we need to do is select that extrusion material and here you can see the diffuse color is gray. We'll just click on this and select the red color that I've saved over here in a swatch. Now we have our red wine ready to go in the glass. There's one final step now. We need to combine these 3D layers together so that they can interact. So in order to do that, we'll select one layer in the Layers panel. We'll shift click to select the second layer. And with them both selected from the 3D menu, we'll choose Merge 3D Layers. Once we do, we can see here's our top view showing in the secondary view. And here's our side view. And we can see that we've got pretty good alignment. If you didn't have good alignment, you could click on one or the other of your objects and move them around using the transformation axes here. But because we took great pains to leave these objects in their original configuration and we didn't move them around prior to merging them, we've given ourselves the best bet to try to get them correctly aligned to begin with. And we can check that. We'll go into the glass layer here and select the glass extrusion material and we can take the opacity in the properties panel and bump it down. When we do, we can see the wine showing through the glass. And now if we grab our scene and move it around, we can see sure enough the wine is sitting in the glass. So we'll call that a wrap for this session and in the next video we'll pick directly up where we left off here and we'll look at actually making the glass a photorealistic crystal glass material with a transparent wine, adding a reflection and modifying the shadows a bit. So join me in the next video. Until then, thanks for watching. My name is Mike Hoffman. My website is hoffmanartdesign.com. You'll find a variety of photography, Photoshop, and Lightroom tutorials and related information there. Or you can follow me at mhoffman2001 on Twitter. And you can find me on Google Plus by simply going to gplusmikehoffman.com. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thanks for watching.